Okay, we are going to find some missing measures of a triangle and it'll be a shortcut. It works with the triangles that are 45, 45, 90 triangles. And when the um, angles are 45 degrees and this is 90, then these legs will be the same size. And then your hypotenuse will always be whatever the leg is time root two. So your hypotenuse is always the leg time root two. All right, so in this case, let's just look at this a little bit. If the leg was four, this leg will be four, and this leg will be four root two. If this leg was 10, this leg would be 10, this leg would be 10 root two. If this were eight, this would be eight, this would be eight root two, which I said that, and here we go with one that has an eight there. So here I have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. I know my legs are the same size, so I'm going to put eight right here. And then the hypotenuse will be the leg time root two. So eight root two. As easy as that, we don't have to use the Pythagorean theorem. Then on this one right here, we've got the hypotenuse, which is five root two. So we know that the legs are going to be the same thing and it's whatever's in front of root two. So that's gonna be five here and five there. So very quick to notice. Here we have one where the hypotenuse is two root two. So that means the, the legs would be whatever's in front of root two. So that's two and two, okay? On this one right here, we have two legs that are root two, which is not the hypotenuse. So the root two doesn't always have to be in the hypotenuse. Sometimes they put it in a different place. So in a problem like this, I like to write my little sentence down. The hypotenuse equals the leg time root two, and then put down, this is the hypotenuse I'm looking for, what I know. The hypotenuse will equal the leg is root two time root two. Well, we've already learned how to do that. So my hypotenuse is root four, and the square root of four is two. So the hypotenuse is two. Now, I know I can't sing, but here's a little song I found on YouTube that helped my students to keep the 45, 45, 90 triangles separate from the 30, 60, 90 triangles that I will teach shortly. And it goes like this. X and X and X root two congruent sides. We've got two. X and X and X root two congruent sides. We've got two.